at number two. The Ohio State Buckeyes. Ohio State slips from number one the last time Ohio State was in the college football playoff. They got a load of Clemson. 30. Columbus, 51 yards. The puck fan. He never saw the rush from Tyreek Smith coming. David Arnett stayed in school. 97 yards for a touchdown. It ain't us against this. It's always been us against us. It's never been about you, bruh. When times get hard, bruh, lean on your brother, bruh. When they make a big play, lean on your brother, bruh. Whatever you believe, that's what's going to happen. So if you don't believe that we're about to go out there and win that game, don't go out on that field. And let's go do this thing, man. Ohio State, we need everybody. All your heart. Two things that'll bring us home right here. Toughness and love. Toughness and love. It's time to let the nation know we already know this world. in the Arizona desert, the college football playoff semifinal at the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. And tonight's historic first ever collision of 13-0 teams. The Clemson Tigers, champions of the ACC. The Ohio State Buckeyes, champions of the Big Ten. Different personalities. Lawrence, of course, has been there, done that. Fields has waited with this opportunity. He said he expected Ohio State to be here. He wasn't sure that individually he would have the kind of year that A great throw with great accuracy. Looking to throw again. Delivers sideline route. It's Chris Olave. Defender slipped, and he spins down inside the 30. They are aggressive early. Play calling in the tempo. Fields again, looking to throw. Loops the ball up. Leaping catch by Garrett Wilson down inside the 10 as the freshman makes a play. Unbelievable catch, made a great effort. And that is a tremendous play. That's a 27th catch for Wilson who comes from Austin, Texas. He's the, kind of the next yeah. Ohio State driving at 71 yards in 10 plays. Only two running plays, but Clemson stout as... Lawrence has time, delivers low and incomplete. Protection broke down to the last minute. Arnett was in coverage. It's fourth down. Buckeyes get off the field to help out Ankrum, the tackle on that side, before he released to go out for his route. B.T. Potter, the sophomore kicker, has been solid this year. This is near his career long of 51 from 49. It slid wide right. Ohio State defense gets a stop. In the clear. Off to the races. Can they run him down? They cannot. Touchdown, Ohio State. 68-yard lightning strike by the Buckeyes. Now the buildup in this game, we, we really wanted to see Clemson's run defense with how aggressive they can be. Lawrence chased by Young, heaves it downfield, has Overton wide open. He tiptoes for a catch in Ohio State territory. What a play. Lawrence, they pick up the bunch, but the ball is batted down at the line of scrimmage. Tyreek Smith got in there. The other defensive end figures to make plays tonight if they pay too much attention to Young. Yeah, John Simpson, the left guard, 74, starts to work to his left to help on Chase Young. Ohio State blitzing Proctor. They get some one-on-one -on -one opportunities here. They're expecting an interior run. Instead, it's Dobbins around the corner and into the secondary. Off and running again. Dobbins finally tripped up inside the 10 by 10 of news, but the Buckeyes threatening. I showed you Isaiah Simmons, and Brandon Bowen, the right tackle, felt that, and he does a nice job of kicking out on Simmons, and that's exactly where J.K. Dobbins ended up finding that crease in the defense. Crowd the line, try to come after Fields, but he loops it though, diving catch, touchdown, Dobbins. And stretching the lead. After further review, the pass was incomplete. Fourth down. This would be... The second time tonight, they've gotten close and had to settle for three. Massive approach on both sides from Ohio State. Fields takes a shot downfield and a looping catch made by Austin Mack on the sidelines. 
win up over the excellent corner Terrell. What tight coverage by Terrell, but again, another receiver making a big time play in Austin Mack, who's had a really great last two or three games with his Buckeye offense. What a block by Master Teague. Clemson brought a blitz. Boy, that is tight coverage. Behind the six on second down, Fields is pressured, escapes and takes off. Has green grass and will slide down. Big game down inside the 25-yard line. Uh, the only thing keeping Clemson exactly. in the game have been these stops in the red zone. Abil tries to make it three for three. This from 33, dead center. And the kick is perfect. Ohio State showing some pressure. Now they bail. Lawrence hit anyway. Sean Wade off the corner. And Lawrence is still down. Took a hard hit. Sean Wade came from his star position over the slot on the left-hand side. Nobody picks him up. Chris, that's what you said. On that fake count, Wade showed blitz, but they did not. They still didn't pick him up. And Lawrence, I mean, Wade's going full speed into Trevor Lawrence there on that sack. And then Chase Young got there late and grabbed the quarterback yep. around the neck. After further review, number 24 of the defense is charged with targeting. The penalty is 15 yards in the previous spot. So, Sean Wade is out for the remainder of the game. Pitch to ETN. Can he get the edge? No, he's turned back, but does well and scores standing up. That was all Travis ETN on his own. And the Tigers finally on the board. Great point about that being all Travis Etienne. It's a good read, he pitches it out, but look at Fuller not give up on the play, but the rest of the Ohio State defense is running, expecting him near the boundary, puts his foot in the ground. Moment. Lawrence took a peek downfield, had a lot of room, and breaks a tackle, and is still running. Lawrence in a foot race. Will they catch him? Touchdown, Tigers! Wow, a game-changing play. 67 yards. Proctor had a chance to stop him, but the big fella got out and galloped all the way home. What a call by Clemson. Again, utilizing the legs of, of Trevor Lawrence in that backfield. You expect ETN to be carrying the ball tonight. Instead, it's Lawrence following the block of the left guard, John Simpson, and it opened up. Think about a frustrating first half, Kirk throwing the ball. His 45, but guys come after it, and they knock the punter down. And we'll see if it's a five or a 15 yard penalty. If it's the five yarder, it wouldn't be a first down, but if it's another Ohio State personal foul, it could be another crucial mistake. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense to the 26. 15-yard penalty for the previous five. Yeah, that's Cameron Automatic Brown, backup corner. Another mental mistake, and Clemson's drive is now prolonged. That's right. Olave, Cameron Brown. He look left, flip back in traffic. Etienne, he slips the tackle. Etienne into the secondary, knifing to the end zone. Tigers take the lead. 53 yards. Etienne, they can't get him out running the ball, so they try to get him in the passing game. Malik Harrison has him. You can see Simpson gets out there, but now he's in the open field. Great blocks downfield by these wide receivers. In that three-point stance on third and 19, Lawrence. Young was getting close, and the pass is complete and fumbled. And the Buckeyes pick it up and bailing into the end zone is Jordan Fuller. They call it a catch and a fumble and a scoop and score. That'll be reviewed, but a potential game-changing play for the Scarlet and Gray. Now. The, the one question is, was he bobbling the ball is the one question. That's what they're going to probably take a peek at. Was he bobbling this football or did he have possession? Akuda, tight coverage. Ooh, I don't know. Boy, he's holding on to that football. He has possession of that ball. That's a catch. On the field with a catch, a fumble in return for a touchdown. The previous play is under review. I think he had it long enough. I agree. And Akuda getting that long arm out there. That's why he's frustrated. After further review, the pass is ruled as incomplete.
Well, Pamela Monia, they agree with you. It's picked up and feels the laborers intercepted. Simmons dancing down the sidelines, made the key. Hard loss. And they come after him again from the pocket, trying to escape, looking to launch, fires sideline. Nice hands catch made by Victor. And on fourth down, Fields again tries to bake the defense. Throws in, zone, touchdown, Olave! And OSU reclaims the lead. Well, they got a matchup that they wanted in a gutsy play call by Ryan Day. Nolan Turner, who's a great safety, but he's matched up one-on-one -on -one against Ohio State. Maybe their best route runner, Chris Olave. It's a mismatch. You can see he gets that separation and a good throw by Fields as he leads him into the end zone. On field goal range, and Lawrence, thought run, dumps it over the middle. ETN in space. ETN, 10, Reeves, touchdown, Tigers! A championship drive from the defending champs. He's been running and running, and what does that do to the linebackers? They're going to come up to stop that quarterback run game. See him up here? Here is Etienne. He just sneaks behind that look. You know, backers. This time they don't blitz, and Dobbins takes the easy money. Sideline route, eight more. They're near midfield. Second and one. Do they perhaps take a downfield shot? They're thinking about it. The fields across the middle of the hill, and the reliable senior makes the catch at the Clemson 40. Second down, Fields scans downfield, fires to the end zone. It's intercepted, picked off by Nolan Turner, and the Tigers are not going to be dethroned tonight. Man, what a, first of all, this is how a championship game ought to be. I mean, I, I mean, unbelievable. The favor of God, first of all, all glory to God, but also the heart of Ohio State. To God be the glory. Tom, thank you very much. I just said, let's go win it, man. And uh, Trevor, Trevor was just, Trevor kind of took over the huddle, to be quite honest with you. Uh, he kind of took over the huddle, called the guys up, and he just said, hey, man, I love all you guys. Let's go win this thing. I mean, there was just a real poise. There, I mean, I'm, there was never one second that I did not think we were going to win the game. And, and I, it's the honest answer. Uh, Trevor and I talked about it on the sideline. I'm like, man, is this fun or what? So yeah. at number three. Drama. Oh, my goodness. Uh, wow. <laughs> Ohio State. And the big number that you see, 11, 10, 6. But it didn't hurt the Buckeyes. So the Buckeyes are in at 1, 2, 3. And for the second straight year, Clemson and Ohio State in a right. semifinal. And the way what that, game, the way that game ended last year, some yeah. controversy. There's going to be some hype and build up of, of obvious that aspect of it. This seemed like the end. But we fought through it. They told us this was the end. The Big Ten Conference has postponed all sports. We want to play football. It's about our future, you know. But we fought to change it. Sometimes our world felt like it was coming to an end. Maryland, even Ohio State, State. Michigan has to cancel unable its to game play. at Ohio State. But we fought to finish it. We know you don't want to see us here. And we know you don't give us a chance. Justin Fields and the six-win Buckeyes have been told you don't belong here. After the strangest journey to the postseason ever, the underdogs are driven to rewrite the gut-wrenching ending from last year. promise each other that no matter what happens, we stick together. No matter what happens, whatever, whatever gets thrown at us, you stick together. And you don't leave that field without a win. I don't know what's going to happen, but you stick together because you love the guy next to you. That's what it comes down to. We're here. 
We're here right now. Own this moment. Love you guys. Final three. One, two, three. Fight. And ETN will have a chance from the four. Straight up the field and straight into the coverage team. In this department allowing only 34% this year. They bring pressure. And Lawrence off the back foot. Lost it downfield. And the catch is made by Cornell Powell. He's one on one against seven banks. He's in phase. Really good coverage. Does a good job adjusting back to the ball. Seven banks never really saw the ball, which allowed Powell with a slight push there. Used to fill in the secondary. On second and goal. Lawrence keeps it. Tries to get the edge. Chased by Browning. Dive. Touchdown, Tigers. Trevor Lawrence, you see this a lot from this offense. You got to respect ETN in the middle. And then it's a foot race. Browning trying to get out there. Cooper trying to get out there. Amari Rogers with an outstanding block on Wade to allow it to free it up to the corner for Lawrence to be able to get in for that touchdown. Team catches in the two previous games. He was hot. Trying to bring pressure on Fields. Looking to throw on first down. Checks it down to Sermon who's got space. And a first down. And is still running. Hurling men out of bounds inside the Clemson 35. Sneaks out of the backfield. He checks it down. Nobody picks Sermon up. They brought Skowski on a blitz. Nice job by the offensive line picking him up. And now you got Trey Sermon out in space, much like we Woo. talk about Travis Etienne. <laughs> nice. He did that. He did that in a Big Ten championship <laughs> game. He got, he's got elevation. He tried it the first time and got tackled. The second time he just took it up a knock. Now he's got the ball again. Running left. Sermon in the clear. Foot race. Touchdown. Ohio State. Buckeyes answer quickly. This is a left guard, 55. Clemson struggling to get lined up. Ohio State goes fast after the last play. Nobody there. The alley opens up on that stretch play. You can see Clemson not in position, unlike them, not getting lined up. And just waltzes in. Travis Etienne finds the end zone, and the Tigers are back on top. Respect that. See Josh Myers, Wyatt Davis, part of that interior line. Fields from the pocket, launches downfield, and a diving catch is made. Watch tremendous ball skills. He against Kendrick, one-on-one. -on -one. He gets behind him. Great job off of the play action. Move the safety to the middle. Fields from the pocket, fires to the end zone, into traffic. Caught for a touchdown by Luke Farrell. Didn't have a catch the last three games. The Northwestern game. Kind of a quiet season for a five-star. Fields fakes out the defense and rolls and has some yardage and still running. Knifing through defenders. Most people how good he is. Got to be careful with that mindset, though, don't you? Drops back. There's a man wide open. It's Rutger. Two touchdowns for the Buckeyes tight ends tonight. It's going to hide. He's waiting with the action, rolls, see how he just kind of hides, waits for everybody to move over. Nobody picks him up. About the execution and what you're asking him to do. And bursting to the middle is Sermon, rumbling into the secondary, breaking tackles, stiff arm, and is finally corralled down near the 25 by Xander. Barrel from the right, work back to the left, boom, that block right there allows him to get underneath in that inside zone play. This is the part of Trey Sermon that people underestimate. That's stiff arm. Here they come. Oh, dropped out. Third and 13, Fields does have time. And now takes off, makes a cut, takes a hard hit by Skalski, who knocks him down two yards short, and Fields is still down. Looks like Justin's okay. And that was a big hit. David Alvarez will get on the phone here. And I, I, I'm Rick is the Big 12 replay official. That's a classic, classic crown of the helmet. Yeah, and it doesn't matter when you use the crown of the helmet. It doesn't matter whether you go high. After further review, number 47 was confirmed for targeting. The penalty will be half the distance to the goal and an automatic first down. Number 47 is disqualified. This is crucial now as the Buckeyes try to stretch the seven-point lead. Fields on the run, launches for the end zone, coming back, caught for a touchdown by Olave. Gets up, finds Olave who eludes Jared and Jones and then limps to the sidelines but it's Ohio State up by a couple of scores now as we approach halftime Field delivers a strike across the middle it's Rucker and the tight end bangs down inside the 15 yard line well, he spread it around 15 completions seven different receivers makes it tough on the defense from the pocket a strike across the middle caught touchdown 
on Rucker again. What a huge night for the tight ends and for Fields. And take the defender right over the middle of the field with him. Now Rucker kind of gives an outside look. I'm telling you, he's like a receiver. Third and eight, pump fake, end zone throw, and that's a mistake, and an interception by Mike Jones. Fields forced that one into traffic, and it's the first takeaway for the Tiger defense, much needed. And in the offseason, amazing, he's been playing football this season. Play action, Lawrence launches, and has Powell wide open to shove Wade out of the way. Ninth play of the drive, Lawrence flips it in the flat, Powell stretches for the pylon, touchdown, and the Tigers begin to chip away. Powell beating Sean Wade a couple times on that drive. Good answer to be able to come up with the interception and then drive, put a drive together like that. Again, there's that soft coverage. We saw that really, Chris, on this entire drive. Four-man rush, Fields has time, launches downfield, it's Olave, he's got a touchdown, Ohio State! Play took a while, I mean, it, the offensive line does a good job, look how he gets behind Nolan Turner, I don't know if they thought he could make that throw, Chris, watch Nolan Turner, the back end of this, right at the 50-yard line, kind of working towards the middle, he takes that crossing route, opens it up for the post, and then Justin Fields shows you the arm strength and the accuracy to make that throw where he gets behind Kendrick and Turner. He's looking to strike back quickly. Lawrence looking to run all the way. And he'll be dragged down behind the line of scrimmage by Togiai. And the ball's on the ground. Ohio State say it's a turnover. No signal yet. I think Haskell Garrett, 92, gets in there. They're ripping at watch, the ball right now. Yeah. See, watch, watch out. Watch how Haskell Garrett smartly, wisely here, picks up the ball, fights for it anyway. Was he losing control already before the knee went down? That'll be what the replay right. officials look at here. He changes the ball from the left hand. It comes Previous out there. Is under further review. They're willing on the field as a fumble recovered by the defense. There's a run stopper. Final seconds of the quarter. Can they get the snap off? They do. Lawrence on the pitch. ETN is hammered right behind the line by Justin Hilliard. And the Buckeye defense punctuates the third quarter with another big tackle for loss. You know, people talking about him this year, they didn't deserve it. The, the way they lost last year, there's no way he's coming out. Sermon breaks free, gets the corner and scoots out of bounds. He's closed. They got 14 minutes to protect this lead. Looking to add to it. Fields down the field. For a touchdown, Jamison Williams. This is truly really special tonight. See Nolan Turner, both safeties. I talked about Venables needing to roll the dice a bit, being aggressive. It means leaving those corners on islands. It's got ETN going. Amari Rogers has been bottled up by this Buckeye defense. And Lawrence under pressure again, delivers a strike. Powell breaks free. Powell knifing down and scoring. So they convert third and 16 into a touchdown to keep some hope alive here. Right, watch him work against Sean Wade. He turns him right there, and then he throws the ball before his head's even turned to a spot. That ran right through Notre Dame in the last game. Again, Lawrence pressured, flings the ball to the turf. Dangerous throw. Tyreek Smith got there in a hurry. And Ohio State makes a stand, and the Buckeyes can feel it now. Down here, final flicker of hope for Lawrence and the Tigers. Throws off the back foot to the end zone, and it's intercepted on the carom. It's seven banks. No doubt about it. Ball actually gets through and, and gets into the hands, I think, of Cornell Powell. But it was 12, the freshman, Ransom, that knocks that ball loose. It's Amari Rogers. He knocks that ball loose. Williamson helps out. He actually dislodges it. And there's Banks with his eyes up.